James Gunn has officially announced Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor. We're going to tell you what else he said and more information around Superman Legacy. We're going to do it right now on the Sundowners Club. Superman Legacy, we've been covering the movie that looks like it could be the savior of what we call the superhero fatigue and the yeah. superhero universe uh, from James Gunn at DC. The casting we've covered around David Cornsweet as Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman. Rachel Brosnahan, who, for those that may not know Rachel, she starred in the Amazon series The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And uh, perfect Lois Lane. The casting so far has been great. And we got some news recently that is now official. Uh, I think it's because the ink is dried. He's actually signed the contract. Uh, and Nicholas Holt playing Lex Luthor. And so James Gunn has finally gone to Threads, which, by the way, are you on Threads? Mm. Yeah, no. me neither. So maybe we're behind the times there. But, um, you know, he, he James Gunn put on Threads that uh, posted actually a photo of him and Nicholas Holt. And, uh, and he said, couldn't be happier. We went out to dinner last night to celebrate and discuss how we can create a Lex that will be different from anything you've seen before and will never forget. And then he goes on to say, but James, we heard this weeks ago. Why didn't you tell us it was true? Because although they were in deep negotiations, it wasn't final until a couple of days ago, which means he signed the contract right. and it's a done deal. And he doesn't want to tell something until it's certain. And that goes to what you and I have talked about. Every time we talk about casting news and they say something's done, you like always, Fantastic Four we've talked about. <laughs> You always say it's not done until yeah. it's done. We've talked about like five different people for each member of the Fantastic Four. And, it's, and other IPs yeah. where people get bandied about or talked about about certain roles. So I appreciate that James Gunn waited until the ink was dry to debut that. Now, what do you what do you make of his comment about that they're gonna make they're working on making Lex Luthor different than anything you've seen before in prior in incarnations of the character? I don't know. I'll, I'll be glad that it's not Jesse Eisenberg because <laughs> I thought that was uh, that was definitely the worst version of Lex Luthor. Well, and everybody's assuming remember. that he like that Lex will be bald headed, and that may not be the case. At least not right away, right? I mean, yeah, he, or show can... show you know show how he gets there. I don't know, but yeah, uh, yeah. So far, I think the acting or like the the actors they've got for for those roles seem. Like they were ripped right out of the comics. Kind of reminds me of how Marvel used to cast, you know, ten years ago. Yeah, most of the movies that they've done, they've never shown Lex as this corporate titan, mm -hmm. as this you know running Lex Corp. And it's always been he's either already been in jail or he's been this uh, evil mastermind that's kind of you know below the city, you know, in the in the well, Superman. I think like, the, like he's supposed to be early in his career, right? Yeah, he's Superman, but he's he's a young Superman. Right. Uh, so Lex, you know, Lex Luthor might not be at that point yet. We might see how he gets there. Um, you know, maybe they'll do more of like a Smallville approach. <laughs> I don't know. I don't well, know. But that's, that's definitely something we've seen before, just not in a while. That's true. And we also we didn't really talk about this recently, but they also cast Jimmy Olsen, and you like the casting move, Skylar uh, Gasando. Mm -hmm. um, I know him from Righteous Gemstones, but it looks. Perfect just, yeah. Jimmy from the comics. It's just like Jimmy Olsen from the comics, which yeah, Superman for I was all surprised. seasons. Yeah. And you know, it, it you know, th there's so many characters that that they've cast in this in this movie. You know, we we've talked before about uh Nathan Fillion as Guy Gardner, mm -hmm. Green Lantern, which is a different take on Green Lantern. And Isabella Merced as Hawk Girl, uh Edie Gathegi is Mr. Terrific, uh Anthony Kerrigan is Metamorpho, and Gabriella DeFaria as the engineer. So that's been talked about. They they've actually shown her working out with the same trainer that's training David Cornsweet. So uh, so you know that that's that's an Pretty action much role. Official, yeah, yeah, and um, and in the vein of Superman two, right? You Some know, of these people I don't know though. I've never never heard of them. Yeah, Sarah Sampaio as Eve Tessmacher. You know Miss Tessmacher. You just don't know the actress playing her, but Miss Tessmacher is famous for being the assistant to Lex Luthor himself. Right. Uh, and then you've got Skylar Gasando, as we've talked about, as Jimmy Olsen, Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor. Um, you know, they haven't, there have been rumors about Kurt Russell playing Jorel, and that seems to maybe not be the case. It goes to back to what you're saying is let's be careful about saying someone's locked in right. until it's announced. Um, so we don't know yet who's going to play Jorel or what role Jorel's going to play in Superman. Uh, and we don't know if they're going to show any um, flashbacks to. Uh, 
uh, Jonathan Kent, Martha Kent, his parents from Smallville, um, since he already has become uh, Superman. It, th- this movie is basically going to be a, a take, James Gunn's uh, take on uh, Superman, A Man for All Seasons. So that classic Superman style, that positive kind of vision and hope that Superman represents and represented in the comics. And, uh, and there's been rumors of Brainiac uh, as the big bad, but we don't know that for sure. You know, they've been. We don't. I, I mean, I'd like to see that because we haven't seen him in a live action movie yet. And no. I think he's one of like Superman's top villains. You got to get that. That's a harder thing to top pull off. Three or four, yeah. Yeah, you've got to. If, if you get it right, it's, it's, it, it could really be a big payoff. But, uh, but yeah, so Nicholas Holt, you know, you know, finalized the, the, the ink is dry playing Lex Luthor. You know, w- what that means in terms of James Gunn talking about. You know how it's going to be different. I'm very interested to see their take on Lex because this is this is kind of what makes the great characters great. The great stories is you, you've got to have that that nemesis, right? That Vader to Luke, that you know, you know that Bane or the Joker to Batman, right? You've got to have that to make the story really fleshed out. And so um, interesting that he had that take on it. Well, and I think like I do think that's a good casting. I will say I've never loved Lex Luthor as a villain. I don't think they've ever. I mean, the, there was a campiness to, to Gene Hackman in the original no. movies, but I, I kind of agree with you. I, I've said before, my favorite Lex Luthor was Michael Rosenbaum from Smallville, who, by the way, gave a shout out. He's good friends with James Gunn. He gave a shout out and congratulated Nicholas Holt for playing Lex in the new movie. Um, but yeah, I, I think that goes to what you're saying is that they. I don't know that they've ever truly gotten Lex right on the big screen. Well, it's also though. It's just like you have this. Lex Luthor is a smart human. He's like an evil Batman, basically. Yeah. yeah. Without without the the fighting skill. Yeah, I don't like but, the campiness of it. But it's just you know you're going against a an alien with the power of a god. I I wanted to see something like a I'd rather see Brainiac or Darkseid or somebody that could maybe challenge Superman more in a, a physical way. Yeah. Um, a real threat. And not to mention like we've seen Lex Luthor so many times. Um, you know, in the uh, the reboot from uh, when was it like two thousand five or uh, yeah, Superman Returns? Yeah, before yeah. Man of Steel, right? Yeah, and then it's, so I mean, we've, 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 we've had seen him decade. so much. It's it's I don't know. I'd like to see someone else. I'd like to see Dark Side too at some point, but you know, that's that's uh, well, maybe James later, Gunn maybe looked, later down the line. We don't know how big of a role Lex is going to play in this in this first movie. So you know, the, I trust James Gunn at this point. You know, it, look, he he did one of the only movies that Disney put out this year in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three that did well. Yeah, and so you know, I, I trust James Gunn. The casting is a good sign. Or maybe do him like an anti-hero type, where he's bad but he's kind of always there, and he's and he and he plays people, a bigger part. During, people love the Heath Ledger Joker. Yeah, yeah he played. You know? He could play a bigger part when larger threats come in. Right later down the line. So if they get it right, you'll see people dressing up as Lex for Halloween and going to comic cons. Like, look, that's where heads. something where yeah. it goes viral, right? Where people are like they love this character. Yeah. You got to have people loving the villain almost as much as they love the hero. Yeah, it helps a lot. I mean, it, a good it, villain helps a lot. Yeah. One of the other things, Sterling, that has come out in recent weeks, tied into Superman Legacy and this in the IP with DC that goes beyond it, is the casting of Supergirl. And so, you know, we, we saw Sasha Kalia as Supergirl in the Flash movie that obviously bombed. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have a problem with Sasha Kalia. I, you know, I, to me, you know, it didn't really represent the comics Supergirl, but not a big deal. And, and Sasha, did, her role in the Flash was not a big one. But, uh, but now we have, according to Geek Tyrant and Daniel Rickman, uh, Inside Scooper, uh, Supergirl will be making her debut in a movie. Uh, but will not be played by Sasha Kalia. So the in-development film with DC under James Gunn called Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, will not have the current Supergirl. So we've seen the casting that James Gunn has done, and we mentioned that he stayed pretty true to the comics. Yeah. So do you think this means that we're going to get more of a Supergirl that that at least physically looks like the Supergirl from the comics, the blonde hair, blue eye, Kara? I think so. And I mean, I think that's that's... That's your recipe for success. I think they've both Marvel and DC have moved away from that, and I don't think it's helping them too much. So right. I think you need to go back to what you did when comic book movies were the most successful. And uh, and look, I mean, Sasha, I mean, no fault of her own, but she was in a movie that bombed. And James yeah. Gunn, 
he may not cast someone with blonde hair, blue eyes, but you know, it, do you want to cast the same I, people? I think you need to get it right. You need to make it like so far, every every person he's cast looks like they were ripped right out of the comics. And then he's yeah. the same thing with her. Just, you know, keep doing it how he's doing it. You know, so far he's done a great job. And I wouldn't do it any different with her. You know, I would just make it look like they were ripped out of the pages. And I think that's right. gonna you're gonna you're gonna make more fans like that than the other way around. This is just more of the you know, the Saint James Gunn is is been getting the casting just spot on if you were someone who read the comics. And so if you're someone that that is kind of straight stay true to the lore of the comics, you will like these choices. And if not, you know, I don't I don't think if look, he's gonna have to make good movies, good good content. Yeah, I mean that, even if the casting even if the casting's perfect, that doesn't guarantee the movie's gonna be good. That's right. But to me that's just like the found like that's like base level stuff is getting the casting right. And if you get the casting wrong then you're already you already put yourself at a huge disadvantage in making a good movie. Right. So like that's really just the you know that should be the the first thing you get right cuz once you screw that up you're already behind. Right. And I don't think you screwed it up yet, so. Yeah, so just wanted to mention that, you know, that's obviously some additional news as we talk about Superman Legacy. Let us know what you think. Do you want to see Brainiac as the villain in the new Superman movie? What do you think about Nicholas Holt as finally being official as Lex Luthor? And James Gunn saying he's going to go in a different direction with his take on Lex Luthor. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts. While you're doing that, smash that like button. Leave us a comment. Hit the notifications bell. And most importantly, hit subscribe so that we can continue to grow our channel and TCB.